Hello, hello, welcome to a new Vintage Q video. Ah, Magic Online having Vintage Q is so nice, right? Yeah, I love the team drafts in the server. I know, I know they are awesome, they are a lot more fun. But they take forever, like two, three hours? That's a lot. So, you know, it's nice to just hop in, have a quick draft draw. What are we picking? I love Thoughtsis, I love Mystic Confluence. Ancient Tomb is nice, Necromancy is powerful. Those are like the top three cards, I guess. Mystic Confluence being probably a fourth. Not a monastery, but yeah, probably Thoughtsis. Thoughtsis is just so versatile. So good, so efficient, right? Hmm. Oh, Inti. Inti is good. Gitrog is interesting. Currency Converter is cool. <clears throat> Blue black fetchable land is fine. Phantom interference. Two mana pay two. It's solid actually. Oh but I like Inti a lot. Inti is super good. Okay. <clears throat> After Inti, there's a balance. A wonderful follow-up to these black and red cards. Collector's cage is fine. The Dracosaur thing is awesome. Gorius is interesting with Hinti, but I think I'm going to take the balance. That's solid. Now here there's this member and there's Snap Out. Both are pretty similar. I think I like Snap Out a little bit more. Zero mana is so important. So yeah. Well, I like I like our start. A discard spell. A three removal spell and a good threat. Oh, this is kind of a combo with Inti actually, because you attack with Inti, trigger it, discard a card, and get the hostile investigator trigger. So, so Misty Rainforest, which is fine as a fetch land, Miskalk is fine, Bonesart is fine, but I want to try this one. It's a powerful card. It's a three for one, right? Always. Goblin Rubble Master. <clears throat> what is this? Three mana, two, two. Put a plus one plus one counter, attacks while saddle double the number of counters. Okay, that's a powerful card. Liquid Titan is interesting. I'm going to take Rubble Master. Red Black Aggro? Yeah. But mid range is. I mean, I love, I love Red Black decks because you get such good disruption when you're playing the black cards. It's amazing. <coughs> Ooh, Turak? Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Six mana, create a 4-4 red dragon elemental creature token with flying and prowess, and it has a storm. It's a storm win condition that actually doesn't win the game. Interesting. Let's take the him to Turak, which is wonderful, and just be, you know, a reasonable deck. Thoughtsis and Turak, and Hostile Investigator. That's a lot of disruption, actually. I mean, Investigator is not really. Disruption in the sense that you are not choosing what to discard, uh, you know, they can choose, so you're not stopping their plan, but you're being annoying. Oh, this card is wonderful. So this is 2 mana, two, two, two mana minus 2 minus 2, which is fine. Triggers Inti, triggers Hostile Investigator, but you can also play it as a, as a Wrath, or a small Wrath. So yeah, 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 I mean, black seems open. The red cards are fine, but <clears throat> we don't really need to play them if we don't want to. In fact, I'm going to take Urbor over Monastery, because Monastery is Swiss Prince. That's medium, and Urbor is wonderful. Great with a snuff out. I mean, any swamp is great with a snuff out, I guess. It's not like you need five swamps. Mm. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Huh, Gitrock came back. So did a bunch of white cards, which I don't really love. So that Paragon would be fine, but I think Gitrock. 5 mana 6 5 Trample Heist is already good. But I think the other ability could be interesting too. So maybe. <clears throat> we dip our toes into green. These cards are not very good. Tom Host with Snuff Out is fine, but I'm going to take that trial. 
Cyborg. Hmm. Is blue is open is not super open. Stick out Awara. If we end up being a blue deck, it will be good. Kabu is fine. It will pivot into more of a <clears throat> five color deck. Okay, okay, that could be a start. Not with those lands. But maybe we end up with a couple of fetch lands and a triumph here and there. I could see going into that. What do we want to open? Oh, powerful cards. There's nothing special. Like, we're just a mid rangey deck, right? I mean, I'll take a mox. Surely a mox is fine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Inquisition coming back would be perfectly acceptable. Only fun, Rakus Theater with the full fields, I don't think, are coming back, but sometimes the theater may come back. Pearl is wonderful and perfect for this deck. Oh, there's re oh, Bow Masters. Oh, no. I forget about it. Bow Masters is so good without combos, without anything. It's just, it's just a great card. Grist would be amazing for this deck. Uh, Gemini's Garden, maybe, you know, with Gitro, Leyline, or so on. Damn is playable. Pro Vampire World are playable in everything, but I love Bow Masters so much. They are such a good card. It's maybe a bit too oppressive in other formats, but in cube I think it's just right. Ooh, Dures, yeah. Ooh, Fury. Ooh, is Dures better than Fury? Probably not. The thing is, we're not heavy black. Heavy red, sorry. We're heavy black. Datha is interesting, so is Godless. I'm going to take the Dures, just a good disruption. Like, these red cards are, you know, fine. Inti, I think, is very good, but the others are just fine. <laughs> interesting here, there's Time Twister, which is great with Bowmasters, but that's it. There's Gravia Trespasser, which is actually a very solid card. There's Tyler Tracker, which is a great card. Uh, Trespasser and Conceal Curtains, that's the other one that I really enjoy. This 3 mana 3 3 can cast spells in your turn. Uh, if you pump your creatures, you draw a card. I'm going to take Trespasser. I think it's a very powerful 3 draw. Oh, Bronco? Oh, this is a Bronco deck, alright. Oh yeah, yeah yeah Bronco, Bronco, low curve, easy to saddle, hmm. yeah, Our advantage, and Douthy now, oh yeah, we may end up, oh wait, 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 oof, Lurus, I could swap into a Lurus deck, hmm, Harvester is very good, Hostile Messi is very good. But like Lurus with Bronco and Bumas. I'm going to take Douthy. I think Douthy is similar to Lurus in power level. And there's Magda here. I like Magda. Committing crimes. Yeah, we can commit crimes, <laughs> I think. Ah, let's play Magda. Oh, Kyrbeck. Kyrbeck with Dures and Thoughtsis is wonderful. Oof, that's a lot of life pain, though. The Spreacher on the other hand, which doesn't care about your life total. Well, actually, it does care a lot about your life total, but it doesn't make you care so much. Kyrbeck saddles the Bronco very well. Ah, I think Preacher is better. I think Preacher is a better card in general. I'm going to take the Rockos Theater here. Ah, yeah. So, right now, red is our second color, but that could change at any moment. Dam, Firebolt, or Death Greeters Champion? I think I want this. Dam is fine. But Firebolt is so good. So efficient. It's a 2 for 1, basically. More triggers for Magda. This Magda is nice. Spike was playing it in Modern. Just to ramp. 
Okay, let's take I'll take goldless. But probably bail for master is solid enough. Uh, nothing here really interesting. So the edit is fine. Doesn't commit crimes, but fine. Okay, we have cards for the white plus, that's for sure. With the mox pearl and anything. What white card will we plus? I mean any of the initiative cards, but they are not here, I don't think. Hmm. 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 Okay. Wow, blue ultimate item. Awesome. There's blue Steinemeyer, which is nice. But there's library. This has to be a great library deck, right? Like library with this and all these good two drops. Okay. This is a good library deck, I think. Just want to be cheap and efficient. When you're playing library, that's it. Okay, we already know how good that to solve Celot is. Uh, what is this? At the beginning of your upkeep, you may create a treasure token. When you target opponent, creates a tapped treasure token. Oh, you have a Madda, you create another treasure token because you um, commit a crime. Whenever it attacks, it deals combat damage to defending player equal to the number of artifacts they control. Interesting. I would play that if it comes back. I will also play Unearth with all these good cards. Long goodbye, Musa's Bubble, but God, it's insane. God is insane. Ooh, Athari? No, Fable. Ooh, Fable. Ooh, ooh, this is a Fable deck. All right. Uh, Fable is great with Douthi. It's great with Trespasser. With Hostile Investigator. Not great with Harvester and Misery, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Virtue, Night Whisper, Scalding Tarn are awesome. Othari is awesome, but. Fable is one of the best cards in the queue. Okay, now this is a bit too expensive, I think. Uh, this card is quite good. It's not that dissimilar to Snuff Out, and it kills Planeswalkers. Is this a bulky deck? <laughs> it commits a crime. I don't think it's a bulky deck, I think it's a mind collapse deck. <laughs> I'm liking our deck. A bit more, a bit better mana would be interesting. But I, I like how the deck is looking. Wow, Wheel of Fortune, when we have Bowmasters, is very, very interesting. That ritual is good with these cards too. Wheel of Fortune is interesting also with like we just have a lot of cheap cards. It's weird to go Thoughtseize and then Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty weird. This could be a Dark Confiant deck. This is a solid Dark Confiant deck. Is Dark Ritual good? I mean, turn 1 Dark Ritual Preacher is great. Even turn 2 Hostile Investigator is going to be decent. I don't think it's a Dark Ritual deck. It's a Dark Confiant deck. Oko is here? There's no respect. Why is Oko here? Explain to me. Can I splash Dark Faden somehow? No, really? I'm going to take Oko, just I don't want to see it there. It just feels wrong. Fire Covenant is nice. Slick Shot, this is not a Slick Shot. Or Tenacious. I think Fire Covenant as another removal spell. We're a bit low on those. Well, not low, low. Oh, this is. A Turak is great for us. We are heavy black, we have the Uber to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Uh Am I missing something? Not really. No, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we have a deck. This is even 23 playables. So, yeah. We have a very good curve. Low to around. We could play 16 lands. I mean, 15 plus Pearl. 
Is Vita Triumph the card we were missing? It's another card to play live with. I don't love that. I would like better mana. Oh, this has to be an Earth. Right? God, Preacher, Graveyard, and Goblin are great. But then Bowmasters, Douthy, just Douthy Boy Walker, reanimating Douthy? Yeah, this has to be an Earth. Uh, yeah, nothing here. This was a very good pack for us, but nothing wild. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I want to take out the relic just in case. Valky or Grave Titan? Grave Titan is interesting, but with Dark Confian and Bronco, I don't think it's playable. But Valky is decent, right? Even if you don't cheat it into play. Vindicate! Mm, we have a lot of white sources. I don't think I need it. Uh, I have to make a cat or two. I don't think I need Bitter Triumph. Uh, yeah, I see an Earth is great. Mm -hmm. Maybe Bearful Mastery is not amazing. And it's also another 4 drop. I don't love with Dark Confident. I wish I had some Lifelink. <laughs> Lifelink would be nice. Some way of just recouping all the life we are going to pay. Because we are going to pay a lot. Green Lava Man is wonderful for the cyborg. That card had to be broken. I mean, it's just limited. Oh! Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's build this. Okay. Mm. 15 lands, I think, is too little. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was a two drop. Like, we are very low to the round. There's a lot of two drops. So whenever we draw our mock, you are going to be way ahead. I think that bike is the weakest card here. So yeah. We'll bring it in if we really need a disruption or in a winding matchup, something like that. Okay, uh, this hand is great. It's missing red mana. And it's on the draw. But aside from that, it's great. Ooh. A one drop could be annoying because we don't really have removal. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I like this. I'm going to really stop whatever they're doing oh that's a very easy choice I guess. yeah the virtue is the only proactive card and after that i think i want to dark confidence here so i will durak and then play trespasser which will be at another two for one oh hit the soldier Oh, jackpot. Then Trespasser exiles Soldred. If they want to kill it, we get a land. Then we, So we get our mountain for the Magda. And if they want to kill it with Oust, it's coming back. This was very disruptive. And our opponent missed a land draw because well, we discarded it with him to do that. Wonderful. They can touch the Spirit Realm, the Arabia Trespasser. That's fine. Ideally, we draw a red source here, so we can double spell. We know that the whole hand is all removals, so a red source would be amazing. Okay, this is how we could lose the game. Good thing is, if they oust the comfy, which they probably should, we're going to play it in two turns, and then they will have to win, see. Or let us draw extra cards, which is also fine. Perfection. Yeah, 
going with the Fable. I could play Inti first and then try to get the Fable trigger with the Inti in play. I don't think that's worth it. Because they could probably kill the Inti. They will probably kill the Inti, sorry. So we are not getting that trigger. And Fable is better the sooner you play. Okay. Now here. No, I don't want to use Fable ability. I'm just playing the Dark Confiant. I'm not playing anything else. For a very obvious reason, and that's it. Winds of Abandon is a sweeper. So we don't want our opponent to sweep our board. You have two good threats here. If you want to win so far on those, I will take the extra lands. And if not, I will untap with my Dark Confiant. Okay, Loran is weak. No untapping with Dark Confiant, but now we can go bananas, right? We can go ham. I don't know, whatever name you want. God would be an insane draw. That's decent. That's very decent, actually. I'm going to attack, and I'm not going to use the Inti ability. We'll let our opponent trade if they want, but ideally, they don't. And we harvest, play Harvester of Misery on their upkeep. Kill the Loran and get the Inti trigger because Inti triggers until your next turn, the, your next end step. So by doing it in our opponent's turn, we're going to get the Magda trigger and the Inti trigger. This is a lot of mana we have no use for. Oh, well, we have extra cards now. So that's nice. Extra cards when you have an Inti is wonderful, right? You just convert them into something good. Okay, they play the land and oh, sky is nice. That's annoying. Without Inti, we are just top decking. The same way they are. So all the advantage we had at the beginning, it's gone now. We have more cards. That's nice. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> also. Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing I could do. So, Mad and Dragon, huh? Okay, now I, I take back everything I said. We're in a great spot. We're doing awesome. And I think we are going to win anyway. Uh, I don't need to do anything. I'm going to. Mm. I don't think so. If they top deck a removal spell, that's fine. But if they top deck a sweeper, I would like to have my unearth ready for later. I could also cycle that. Okay, three mana. Ooh, that's good. Durus is quite annoying actually. Mainly because of the, you know, the um, lifelink part. Do I want to cycle an earth? I don't think so. Magda is powerful. I would like to play Magda. Maybe I have to cycle it because it's not. If I find a removal, I just win. Oh, now that's nice. That's nice because it will stop the impact. It will stop the Lurus. It will start to stop the Lurus. Okay. You basically lose one life in total. I will have lethal for next turn. So I'm happy I've cycled on Earth. Because, yeah. So if we kept attacking with the Fable token, we were going to get the treasures, and that would have been fine. But this way, we dig 
we dug deeper into our deck and we are doing finer, I think. First of all, attack. See what happened, what they have done. I would have never won this game in paper because I would have never activated the Manda. Ooh, mama. That's good. That raises Dauthi. Easily. I mean, we are 26, so we have a lot of time. Bronco is probably a fine draw. It's a must kill threat that is going to give us extra cards. So. Uh, there's a. Oh, I just realized. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm so bad at this game. Can do this and now replace the Dauphi. We have done that last turn. Probably should have done that last turn. Next turn, I do the same thing and I bring the learning exiles artifact or enchantment, right? That will probably win the game for me. So will this one, of course. Oh, it's night. Even awesome. Take a million. Sorry, technically, playing the Dauphi first is correct. Okay. But we're, we just generated a lot more resources than our opponent, right? Um, they have a lot of removal. We have a lot of good things. Yeah, let's keep it, it as it is. I'm not complaining about the turn one Tenacious Underdog. Ooh. Oof. Feels so great. Ah, Moxes. What? I. 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 My. They're so broken. <laughs> so broken. Breaking the mana engine is. is great. Adanto is nice. It's going to die, but it's nice. I'm going to attack first. See what they do. If they want to block and activate, I'm fine with that. You know what? I'm going to Dauphi first. I don't need. I'm, I'm the aggressor here. I don't need to spend my mana on killing that thing. We do have to remember that they have Wings of Abandon. But this gives protection from color. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to attack so much, so hard. We'll change the plans. We're going to play Dark, dark Ocean here. And hard cast Underdog and attack for a million. Well, for five. Okay, we are trading here. That's fine. Next turn, we can reanimate that if we want. Hard casting Harvest from Misery is not going to happen a lot in this deck, I don't think. Oh, that's good. What a good turn. 
we are going to win easily, I think. But that was a good point. Bringing this back, killing the mom, killing the Lurus. Just attacking. Okay, uh, if they go uh, wide land, uh, wings of abandon, we could lose. But they didn't. Okay, we're on the play for round two. I really like our deck. It's extremely good. Hmm. Library <laughs> in this situation is not very great, I don't think. I'm going to put Trespasser on the bottom. But like I could library no, there's no way. Library is just going to be a colorless land. Could have put Dauzi on the bottom, but I believe. They lose is annoying. Mana Drain is annoying, but I think the Illusion is going to be a lot better. We can play around Mana Drain, hopefully. With a Swamp here. Maybe I should have put that here. Now that I, think, I truly think about it. Swamp. Oh shit. Okay, now we may be in trouble. If we start missing land drops, we can activate the library at some point. <clears throat> Am I regretting my life choices? Not really. We'll get through that mana drain eventually. Oh, oh shit, we're not getting through. Well, next turn we can activate our own library. We are going to be behind, but we are going to be able to keep up. Maybe? Maybe? Can I find a land? No. Can I find a land? No. We do play few lands. I'm going to Dures, because it's better than discarding to hand size. If they want to mana drain the Dures, they get a free mana. Which is powerful, don't get me wrong, but that's the one. And this library is going. To, we have the li library parity in a sense. Okay. I guess I should have drawn in my upkeep. Bronco, Bronco, Bronco. Caustic, Bronco. We are being out manaed, <laughs> out London and out carded, I guess. No, we are. We have 28 cards left, they have 21. So. Yeah. We'll say we are behind. But are we really? Are we really behind? Truly? Working Ballista? Shit. I can draw a land. The issue with, even with drawing a land is. I need a land to play something and activate library. 
Because right now we are drawing one card per turn. We could actually leverage on my upkeep. Is that good? Uh, I guess. Because it lets me see two cards, right? Rather than only one. But Warren seems to have like a Grixis control there. Nothing special. But they may have some combo things. Okay, wow, the talisman finally. Draw. Oh, right, that's a start. That's another start. I'm playing Dowsy here. Force the, forces them to have a removal spell. And if they activate Dark, we'll get stuff under the Dowsy. They do not have a combo finish. I mean, they they would they have to have co win conditions, you know. But we can claw our way back into the game. That's a tinker. Yeah, that's a tinker. Would you tinker for Colossus? No, for Portal. Ooh, ooh, no good, not good. Not good. Mm, how are we winning now? Or not? How does this work? Uh, let's take the draw. So technically, you know, technically, they can, with Portal at some point, they have to reanimate the Harvester, which will kill all the other creatures. Okay, and then we do it all over again. I don't think, I think we will be dead by then, but just an interesting idea. Why are they drawing so many cards? What? Are they trying to find something good? We have five cards in hand now up to seven. I've seen the whole deck basically. This is demonic tutor for blue blue. Well double demonic tutor I guess. Okay, there's the harvester. That was smart. What else? A mystical tooth. What? What are you searching for? You just saw your whole deck with big two tanks. Maybe the car was like in the bottom too. Because it was a pre Miscalc. Most interesting. Miscalc is quite the choice, I must say. Oh, that's cool. An annoying. It's really cool. Mainly cool, I would say. Creature is such a cool car. Okay. 
Let's see what they choose to sacrifice here. So we just have to kill everything they play and they will eventually draw their whole deck. Is that the plan? No. <laughs> Versus Portal. Definitely no. Oh shit. We're going to die. I mean we are super dead that way. But we are to, we are going to die faster. Ah, now we are not taking the 5 4, huh? Coward. Coward the coward. Okay, Talisman. Do you have a draw 7? That's not Wheel of Fortune. I hope not. That would be extremely annoying. Oh yeah, sure. This, um, this I guess. What a combination, huh? Yeah, no way we are winning this game. No way on earth. Okay. Passing the turn. How does it work if I fight Covenant with Dauphin in play? Because the creatures go to my graveyard, right? I don't know how it works. Let's find out. They get a silo. Targeting me. Going down to 8, not super smart, probably. But what am I going to die? Okay, activating Dauzi. Oh, so Dauzi went to Arabia, to the side throne. That makes sense to me. Makes a lot of sense. So we get to draw 2 and discard 2 now. Anything good to find? Well, that card comes back from the graveyard, it's nice. Uh, yeah, Ravel Ravel. And Kaito. Okay. I'm going to take one of them. Yeah. I don't think we can win. Still going to try, you know. This sure there's no way to win. No real way. That's cool. At least, like, it's B. You know? Going to block quite quite well. Brainstorm. Sure, sure thing, buddy. Okay, discarding upheaval. Oh my goodness. What is the other one? 
and consider. So they have Miskalking hand. Unless they put it on top of the deck. Let's find out. Okay. No miscalculation there. That's seven, there's no way to survive. Versus portal direction. Full return. Alright. Something like you know bow masters. Bow masters could do oh okay, we're not beating that. Yeah, we're at six. They have three cards left, but with Rubin Tarpit, it doesn't add up. We need something good here. I don't know what. That's not it. Uh, yeah. Fireball is cool. Uh, we're there. An instant speed removal spell for creeping darpit could do it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, god is super lethal. Super lethal. Okay. Wow. Two cards left in that deck, huh? We missed several landlords this game. Technically, not dead. There any out in our deck at one life? No, not really. Let's see. Come on, something. Yeah, that's not the card. Discarded in calculation, interesting. I don't think I have anything, but it's free. The, I love this blue art. It's amazing. I love it so much. I, I have. I used to have the um, the feather blue for my token for my clue tokens, but I want to bo to buy a bunch of those because they are extremely beautiful. I think. Ah, we are dead. Wow, with one car in the deck. I think it was closer than it could have seen. Full Richard was the true issue, right? Because it didn't let us have cards in hand, basically. So we were playing with seven cards in hand at some point. But with Full Richard, our opponent used Dark Faden a couple of times at that. That was the end. What could we have drawn here? I don't think that was anything. All right, that was that was cool. Uh, so Hulrich is annoying, but they don't seem to have a draw seven. Uh, do I have any way of getting rid? Oh, I can bring in Vindicate. Um, mastery, and binding. Sorry. Vindicate is probably playable just with these two sources plus Mox Pearl. Yeah. Falcoveran doesn't seem important versus this deck. The rest of the removal is probably fine. Yeah, let's try like this. Ah, that was a cool. Uh, it was a weird, cool game. Uh, keep. Maybe we have too many black sources. Can we consider that? They are playing upheaval, that's annoying. Okay. 
library is great and especially oh i should have played urborg first so that was our black source anyway if i top deck something like that yeah him to turak versus library not the battle you want to play yeah Uy, oof. So we are going to lose another library game I don't think I mean our hand wasn't great but our main plan was to make them discard a couple of cards and they happen to have a library of Alexandria uh, Madda is fine we make some treasures maybe They are ramping a lot. They are not doing anything relevant of relevance. And Bronco is fine. The issue is if they draw Tinker, we die. We are not beating a Tinker here. Like, no way. No, no, library is not good anymore. No, 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 no. Here we are. Tinker? Oh, they lose. Okay. <clears throat> That's a solid draw. Going to help me play over the um, stop the library, basically. Now they go down to four cards. So to keep library in, they have to. Oh, well, I want to kill it in response. Hmm. Okay, we stop the library. Step one. <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Okay, not the best draw in the world. Can we get back? I don't know, anything out, any spell of relevance our opponent plays is going to be GG, but they seem to be flooding up. Oh, see. Ah, sick. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah, we're not winning now. I mean, we weren't winning before, not gonna be wrong. But maybe if they had like all lands and what is this? Are you hard casting a portal? Ah, I can beat that. That's easy actually. I'm going to take my turn because why not? Okay. Uh, six, seven, eight. I'm scared about mana drain now that I think about it so that could be an issue 
i no i ja daję tak jest. <laughs> they have to have. Now they just use the mana, grow the Ballista. Maybe I should have played Preacher first, because if they mana drain the Preacher, but I kill the Ballista, we're kind of fine. We are at parity. But now they have the Ballista, so we are dead. 10 mana? What do you need 10 mana for? That's nice. Okay. Mm. No real way to win here. Yeah, should have played that the other way around. Mm. Wow, that could have been key to this game. They are choosing to make a ninja token rather than drawing. Interesting choice. I guess with portal you just have all the pressure you need. Okay, enough. Enough suffering. Rough. Key, 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 key. Welcome to round three. It's a perfectly fine hand. Magda into trespasser is quite the cool. This part simple. Nice. <clears throat> Not going to give my opponent free triggers. That's probably going to be useful at some point. You know, well, like we already have two removals in hand, but. More the merrier. Mm -hmm. If Manta survives, we get a trigger out of it with the trespasser. That's going to be pretty nice. Oh, do you have a stance called Mana Time? Ouch. That's good. See? I mean, bodies and bodies and bodies. That's all nice because we have the fire coming on for that. Okay, at some point we need to draw spells. Happy to have kept the mind collapse. Ah, uh, silent my madam. Just get the um, the light brain trigger. Mm -mm. Yeah, not blocking that, obviously. Let's see what they do here. Oh, that's a good one. Going to pass the turn, flip trespasser into a 4 4. Kind of want to force our opponent into doing something. Because now we are dominating the board, right? They have the 3 1, they can attack on the air. Oh, what? Oh, they didn't expect that. Let me block. That's it. Okay, I can take 6. No, no, no issue. <clears throat> what if I just attempt kill the flyer? That could work. Let's see what they have. I'm willing to pay. They have only two cards left, so nothing. They did nothing there. It's most interesting. So what was that attack with the pedestrian golden token? Just a check to see if I don't block. Well, let's flip the screw. I'm expecting, I'm still expecting them to have something, some sort of ephemerate or 
And then I counter spell. Oh, that's a wood one. Mm. I have to pay this too. Mm. Had I done it on their turn? Huh. Now I cannot really replay it. That's annoying. I don't have the life got out of it. Well, I can do like one, 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 go down to two life. That would probably work. Let's see what they have. If I can get my attack in and get my life back, I need the life back. Uh, let's exile. Okay, these are the things that can come, can come back with lose. Opponent seems to be flooding out like hardcore. Those games are always easier to win. Wow, <clears throat> how risky is that? My feeling, I think, I mean, I could reveal a 5-drop, five, uh, five but I'm fine. Next one is going to be a gigantic attack, so we have like one or two 5-drops, I believe, in the deck. Anything but that, and we are fine. Opponent clearly top decking, like I don't know what they have in hand, but it's clearly not something they are playing. So it's either like super expensive, and that would be scary, or, it, or they are just too little decking. Oh, mama, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, are you attacking? I will load block in case they attack. If I miss you, because Robert Master is going to send a token that's going to be blocked. Out. Okay. Wow. Always lucky on this. This is quite annoying. I don't even want to attack with those, so yeah, we are going to gain 5 life. That's a lot of life. At least I have two colors of creatures, so we are not dead to just, hey, give, give this pro black and attack. Please don't kill me. Huh. I don't really have a wood attack here, so let's pass it one. Ah, stupid problem. I'm going to gain so much life until I manage to find a couple of removal spells. We do have in the deck, we just need to find them. The issue with this is at some point they're going to draw something, right? And when they draw something, we die. <clears throat> and Fable is good. Fable is very good. 
went to cycle on it. I'm going to attack with Dark Confiant because I need to kill it. They're not going to lock, of course, but why would they, right? No, I, basically, Dark Confiant is just going to kill us. That's an issue. That's a big issue. That's solid. Two mana, four, four. Okay, Bob, we have so many two drops. We are just dead. I don't know what we are going to reveal while we are dead. Yeah, we need to get somebody dead. Uh, we have a bunch of removals in our deck. We just didn't find. Okay, Arcturial sounds good. Lavanter sounds good. Triumph and Bulky. Basically, must be. All the removals in general. A bunch of removal spells. Um, things I don't love in this position then is going to be. Um, I love overhaul deck. Probably Dures and Unearth are great. Mm. Maybe him to Tulak is not great even on the play. We just want to affect the board, everything to affect the board all the time. Okay, all the three seem still powerful. Maybe Ravi Master is medium. These fours are fine. Maybe Willful Master is overdoing it on removal. Let's try. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a good hand. Mono Black deck. Like loading up on interaction and then attacking with a bronco to draw extra cards sounds like a plan. Days annoying. I'm going to take the days. It's the only card they can deploy right now. And if they kill the bronco with the swords, oh, I was going to say if they kill the bronco with the swords, then they are not playing a. A card, but now they have they have tundra, right? I think so they can tundra swords kill this. Oh yeah, they can mana of course. Not great. This we can kill the mom. So have played around that mana time. We knew about it. Well, Fable is nice too. Going to Fable first. Leaving Mom alive, not great. But it is what it is. Yeah, we're tapping out here. Yeah. Going to make them sacrifice the Crescent Golden Token, I guess. Oh. That's a great draw. <clears throat> Drawing Turak versus the mono white deck seems like a great plan. Actually, I would like to not hit the shots <laughs> because Turak ignores it very well. We have so many legends right now, Fable is not great. So funny. I'm going to make them sacrifice here. 
If they have the plot thingy, that's fine. But if not, we have a great attack. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. For game three. Yeah, I still don't think the rest is necessary. Okay. Um multi multi uh, a multitude of removal spells and an unblockable threat. So that sounds like a hit to me. I have good interaction too. So it's very important for us to try to sidestep it. Oh that's good. That's a very good one. They don't have days access to days right now, so let's kill it right away. I assume we can go underdog, saddle bronco, attack, draw an extra card, you know, things like that. I'm fine doing that. No, we're not going to be able. Oh, yeah, we are going to be able to do that. Nice. Uh, yeah, underdog. I don't want to pay the life, like. I think our life total is going to be under under attack. So yeah, now if I f find a land drop, well, it's going, it's going to suck. But what if I find a four drop? I don't want to take four. I rather them take it. Well, just the land drop. Perfect. I have to block. So yeah, another two for one. Solid. They are left with an Esper Sentinel, which is annoying, don't get me wrong, but it's not impressive. It's just fun. That is fine too. Very inefficient. Okay, we are quite ahead right now on cards. Just need to close it out. Fable, paying for the tax. We'll have gone Douthy plus Firebolt. But, but the sooner you get the Fable going, the better it is. We already know that. Oh no, my holding. Oh, I like that. I don't want to discard here. Oh, there's. Let's remember they play mana type. So I'm going to play around that. Well, this doesn't play around mana type in the sense that I, I could. Get got by it anyway, but at least I pay two spells this turn, and then Fireball has plus one. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just gotta be careful not to fall too low on life total, but we are doing quite well. Let's see what they discard here. Treachery? Oh my god. Very happy to cast that treachery.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, con you can draw a card. That's fine, unless you draw this or a campus. I would say we are quite ahead. Unless this is a wrath. It's not a scary card. Now we can go in the roster, activate reflection, copy hostile investigator, make you discard your draw. But for now, let's do this. Yeah, they gave up. Well, solid 2 1. Uh, yeah, just, you know, your average mid range, good interaction, proactive deck. A solid 2 1. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> come tomorrow for a new one. Probably standard review. So, yeah, come for a summer. Bye.